start signal gain and the MOSFET operation. This is how the MOSFET is represented in small signal equivalent. Because of the silicon dioxide layer mass capacitor, there is an infinite input resistance because of the drain current. We have ID uh, con current control current source with GM into VGS and because of the channel length we have um, everything present right now in this small signal equivalent circuit has just been discussed. So to calculate the voltage gain in small signal equivalent AV is equal to minus GM, RD in parallel to R if there is a drain resistance attached to the external circuit. Okay, GM transconductance formula can be calculated by with these three formulas. Remember these three for different MOSFET. Now this is a common source amplifier. The source is common. RD is connected, R0 is parallel, so AV0 is minus G and RD in parallel to R0. This is a common drain. In common drain, the representation change changes. We have current, we have resistance, we have RL, and the total resistance between output and the ground is 1 over GM. Then the output voltage will become RL divided by 1 over GM plus M. The open loop gain is 1 mostly. However, the closed loop gain with RL in contact it becomes RL divided by 1 over GM plus R. Open loop gain is V0 into VGS. And this, this means V0 over VC. Okay. Now let us look at the biasing. There are various types of biasing, the voltage divider biasing, diode type biasing, current source biasing, current mirror. These are the important formulas that we have derived from these biasing. Try to remember them that VG is equal to VGS plus IDR. VGS plus IDRS plus VSS. VDD is equal to VGS plus IDR. Now let us look at one of the gate 2015 question. In this, the gate is connected to the drain, and we can say that MOSFET is in saturation region. In the circuit shown, both the enhancement mode and MOS transistor have the following characteristics: CAN, VTM. Assume the channel in modulation time 0, body shorted to the source, the minimum voltage VDD needed to ensure that M1 operate in saturation mode. You know M2 is already in saturation mode. So VGS is 2. Okay, M1 is in saturated mode. To make M1 is in saturated mode, VGS is equals to 2, which is equals to VDS only. In saturated mode, ID1 will be equals to VG. If you wish to make M1 in saturated, let's take M1 to be in saturated mode and do the calculation. We get ID1 by that. Now VDS2 is VD minus VS2 which is equals to VGS minus VD which is equals to 1 VDS2 which is not VDS2 in this one VDS2 I have taken VD because in saturation region VD is equals to VGS as in, sa in this saturation similarly we have considered in this 2 so 2 minus 1 is 1 okay I think it should be VDS1 over here. This will give you VDS1 and VDS1 is equals to VS2. Okay. Remember that thing. 
that V S two V S two is equals to V T S one. Now I D two is already in saturation region, so V S two I will put all the values, and you will get V D V equals to three volts, right? 